Hi, my name's Keith Nickel, and I'd really like to uh, put another shout out to Eau Claire Gloves. Uh, today is pretty warm up here, and I actually prefer to ski with gloves on. They give me a better feel of the pole and so forth. But starting tomorrow and the next few days, we're going to be hit by a deep freeze, relatively speaking. Temperatures are going to drop 10 degrees over normal. Uh, and so I'm going to be wearing their mitts. And what I really like about their mitts is that uh, they fit into the ski pole very nicely, uh, but they keep my hands really warm. So if you're plagued with cold hands and temperatures dip, uh, try Eau Claire uh, mitts. Um, I find they work really well. Uh, in today's video, what I'd like to look at are plateaus in diagonal stride. Uh, often people plateau at certain levels and they kind of even off and they don't really improve. And this coincides, in my view, with CANSI's, Canadian Association of Nordic Ski Instructors, three main skills that need to be developed in classic skiing. And those are balance, timing coordination, and power. And I like to treat those in those, that particular order. For instance, most of the skiers that I see around us and when I travel around BC ski like this. Both skis are in the track, they're quite upright, pretty mechanical, sort of skiing like this. Notice in that kind of skiing, my foot is always getting ahead of me and I can really balance on one ski at a time, which is the hallmark of good diagonal stride. So what we're going to focus on first is balance. And I've created a fast track to striding um, program, part of my online ski instruction, and it takes skiers that may stride like this, we're going to use now no poles, they may stride like this, weight on the heel, foot getting ahead, something like this, and with our fast track to striding, what I do is I convert that to the following. Notice now I'm balancing on one ski at a time. So in our fast track program, we get skiers moving to this kind of posture. Notice now I'm balancing on one ski at a time. For some people, this style of skiing is so ingrained that it takes them quite a while to shift to a one-footed balanced type of uh, stride. So in our fast track program, we have a series of very small, almost baby steps that lead you from you know, having your foot ahead, being stiff, to a more fluid, a foot underneath, one-footed balance. Let me show you that one-footed balance once again. So this is what I mean by one-footed balance. I'm on one ski and then the other ski. So another reason to learn one-footed balance while you classic ski is that if you ever hope to skate ski, you'll really need one-footed balance in that case, as I show here. And we're trying to now lengthen out the glide, holding this position. So people who lunge or who shuffle really, really struggle uh, when they try to skate ski because they've never learned one-footed balance. Let me show you some of those right now. So this is the lunge, and you can see that because my foot gets way out ahead, I can't possibly balance. Both skis are locked in the track, making it impossible to balance on one ski at a time. Other skiers may ski like this. They can sort of move along, but notice both skis are still locked in the track. There's no one-footed balance here either. So learn one-footed balance using this fast track program and both your classic and your skate skiing will thank you. So the next skill that we're gonna work on relates to timing and coordination. And now we're adding our poles. Although most skiers, I'm guessing 90 to 95% of the skiers that stride in our area ski like this, that same old shuffle that we've been looking at, upright, now they've added their poles, but their skiing really hasn't changed. So if you want to move from that first plateau of keeping your feet out in front, being very stiff, to the second plateau, which deals with pole timing, you need to go back and work on those balanced drills. As I pointed out, we have a whole series of those in our fast track program. So now let's look at what might happen when we add the poles. And a whole bunch of things happen because now we have to coordinate legs and poles, and this causes problems for lots and lots of people. Let me show you what I mean. So some 
timing problems that I see are the following. Sometimes skiers have good weight shift. In other words, they have one footed balance, but they may use their poles kind of like this, poling on the same side that they're gliding on. And this isn't very coordinated. Other people may get their poles like this. And again, this is not all that coordinated. So other people might pull like this. Showing some pretty good weight shift, but again, the timing is off. So in our fast track program, again, we break this down into small little segments to kind of get those legs and arms coordinated. Uh, and what we're looking for at the end of this plateau kind of section, plateau two, is to be able to make ski something like this. This is a lot more fluid than those previous ones. We're getting some weight shift and coordinating the polling. So our third uh, uh, skill, the one that I like to treat almost at the end, although it weaves its way in between all the other ones, involves power. So I like to only suggest that people really start to add power once they've got balance and once they've got the right timing. Then they can repeat, begin to add power and their skiing can improve to the next level. So this might be the third plateau, how to add power to uh, your classic, your diagonal stride. So let's look at that. So here we are kind of at the end of our cycle that we just looked at previously, just doing a nice leisurely diagonal stride. So again, in our fast track program, we created a whole series of steps to move from skiing something like that, which is fine, nice leisurely skiing, to ones where you're adding a bit more power both with the arms and with the legs. And it might look something like this. So now I'm adding more power with both arms and legs. So what we've just looked at today are three skills that kind of parallel three plateaus that I find with uh, students uh, that I teach. Uh, that of balance, which is a big priority, that of timing coordination, and that of adding power. And in our fast track program, I've got dry land videos that help you remember some of this coordination and balance uh, uh, segments, as well as on snow segments that look at little baby steps as to how you can progress uh, from maybe shuffling to some good one-footed balance or for changing that timing from uh, something that's not quite correct to something that looks a lot smoother uh, uh, for, for diagonal stride. Uh, and then finally adding some power. So all of these have been divided into small segments uh, and if you're interested in our fast track program contact me via email. Thanks for watching. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with skiers you think might benefit.